What's going on everybody? Fetter here from 3D Print SOS. Welcome back to the channel. And today I want to talk about an upcoming project that's going to be seen in a bunch of future videos uh, going forward. As you guys know, if you are already subscribed to the channel or have seen some of my past videos, you might have caught something like this. There should be a link popping up above me uh, where I built a giant 1-8 scale crawler. Actually, let me get it. So this is a fully 3D printed functioning RC car. It is a crawler of an FJ40, in this case called the Bamboo. It is full featured and everything on here, uh, except for the electronics, is 3D printed. Let me put it away. Most of the filament that I used there was actually by 3D Max. And one of the most important parts about it is there's a nano diamond PLA that I tested by uh, 3D Max that I put inside of the differentials uh, of that RC crawler. And I've taken it out several times. If you guys want to see that thing running, here's a video popping up up there. It's been an absolute blast. I tested it and I haven't had a single issue. And actually the only thing broke that was plastic was the parts that aren't printed in 3D Max filament, which is interesting. But that's beside the point. I wanted to do another big project on the channel. And in terms of flying, I have uh, done some drone flying. I do some for work, uh, but I've never flown an airplane. So I kind of started digging around, uh, seeing what can be done with airplanes. And actually there's a giant 3D print airplane community that I just had no idea about. I stumbled on this website, 3dlabprints.com, purchased a model right away. Uh, and I'm really excited to say that we are going to be printing one of these. This is called the Q Trainer. And I picked this one because it doesn't look intimidating. It's meant to be an entry level airplane that you can fully 3D print. The only thing you need is electronics. So when I started finding electronics and everything I need for this project, I figured, let me reach out to 3D Max and see if they want to sponsor the next project. The way I do these is I typically uh, test machines on this channel while I do it. I would like to slice my own file to test. And if I'm shooting for a larger picture during those, it just helps me, uh, I guess, get motivated to do them and makes it a little bit more fun than just doing the same thing over and over again. This way we get to shoot for a larger picture. So they were really excited about the project and they sponsored the project. So you'll be seeing a lot more of this filament specifically that I'll go over in a second and hopefully this project. But I got all the electronics. I got one of the coolest radios ever all set up. Express LRS. Uh, thank you to Hero from the Discord channel for helping me with all that stuff. That was a lot of fun to just set up. But everything is working. All we need to do is actually print. So all of the new machines and all the modifications and stuff, you'll be seeing uh, me use those things to print this awesome project. And here is the color scheme I'm going for. I'm not quite sold on it yet, but I thought this looks really cool. And I'll be sure to cut some decals. Keep in mind, uh, some of the fonts and stuff that you see here aren't going to be the final one. I'll actually get the, uh, the actual uh, fonts from 3D Max. But the important part is you see where it says Extreme PLA. That's right. So 3D Max has a brand new filament and it's somewhere in between the regular PLA Plus and their Nano Diamond filament. And it's going to be called Extreme PLA. And these are the colors that they have coming out right now. We have red, gray, uh, actually, let me call them by their real names. We got candy red, space gray, apple green, white, black, and mystic purple. So super cool colors. They have a brand new spool. All these are just under a kilogram. I think they're like 750 uh, grams uh, per spool. Lots of cool colors already, but essentially this is my color palette that I'll be using. And for now, I think I'm just gonna be sticking to, uh, you know, just sprinkling everything in uh, into the build in some way, shape, or Form. But I'm really excited about this stuff because it has some interesting claims. Actually, let me just read it from their website. So here's the TLDR. It says here that their extreme PLA or high performance PLA, they're calling it, is blended with proprietary nano materials. Uh, their extreme PLA uh, filament is tougher and easier to print. We need those things. We like those things. It's less hygroscopic, which is good. That means it takes up less water from the air, less clogging, better layer adhesion, less stringing. I like all those things, so yeah, let's tr let's try that out. In initial tensile strength testing of the filament, the extreme PLA high performance showed more than 10% improvement over base PLA. Now, these are their claims, but we're definitely going to be testing that. I've never flown an airplane before, so we are definitely gonna have some rough landings, probably some crashing, probably some reprinting, so we'll see. 
any chance that I get from having a more durable airplane at the same weight, I'm gonna take. So 10 extra percent of tensile strength, that's, that should be pretty good for an airplane. Now they have airplane specific filament where it's like lightweight PLA, it kind of foams and makes it really lightweight. This is just regular PLA in that sense. So the plane will be a little bit heavier, but that's okay, we have plenty of power. Uh, but we have everything we need to get that thing airborne and flying. So that's all for me. I just wanted to let you guys know that in a bunch of future videos, we are going to be uh, building a really cool plane just in case you see some funky stuff that I'm printing during some of these videos and I'm really excited. So what I'll do is every time I print anything, I'll set it to the side and then eventually I'll do a build video just like I did for the RC crawler and then we'll do another video of me flying the thing. So definitely wish me luck. If you guys have any experience with flying 3D printed airplanes, let me know in the comments below. All right guys, that's all for me. Check out our Discord, check out our Patreon. Thank you all for commenting and talking and helping everyone. Major appreciation for everybody. Actually, check out the Discord because there's gonna be some contests uh, coming our way on the channel that I'm really excited about. So definitely check out the contest section in the Discord. And we always have a thousand members in there, by the way. All right guys, that's all for me today. As always, I'll see you all in the comments. Later.